Hi, uh, today we're going to take a look at a uh, vintage uh, BB gun. It's the Han Super Repeater. It was the first product of Han Manufacturing Company in Fairport, New York. And it was made between 1958 and 1971. It's also known as the Crossman 166. Well, in uh, 1960 and uh, through 1970, uh, that was the age of BB gun repeaters. Uh, after CO2 almost died out in the late 50s, uh, Crossman uh, started producing their own CO2 cartridges and they were not leaky or anything, so that was a big, uh, big step forward in CO2. Now their first, their first, uh, their first rifle, uh, their first, Crossman's first BB rifle was this rifle that I'm going to show you today. Uh, it was so popular because in the 60s and 70s, westerns were prevalent on TV and in the movies. Every kid wanted to be Matt Dillon of Gunsmoke or The Rifleman. I mean, the shows Bonanza, The Rifleman, Gunsmoke, uh, you name them. There was, there was at least 60 shows that ran on TV at that time. So anyway, uh, I'm going to show you this gun and we're going to go shoot it. Show it to you real close here. It's a very well made little BB gun. Has a wood stock. Uh, this is a, a zinc alloy casting. The hammer and the, and the mechanism inside are, are all steel. It has a brass valve. Now this gun when you put the CO2 in and you put the CO2 in, CO2 in right here, I'm going to do it. You pull this out. Of course, we put a little drop of a uh, little drop of oil on the end of the CO2. You just put it in here, neck facing this direction, and you screw this down all the way. Just has to be finger tight. Now, that CO2 right now, it's, it isn't. This gun is not charged. In order to charge this gun, you just pull back on the hammer and shoot it once, like you would the 2240. It charges this whole cylinder. You do not want to attempt to take this cap off while it's charged, because that cap will go shooting across the room. <coughs> you could injure you or somebody else doing that. So anyway, the lever action, you can cock it. I'll show you in the other room when we shoot. You cock it with this. You have to fire it once in order to charge this gun. I'm going to get up closer here. Right here, there's a little slide. You take this and there's a little loading port here. Now you put 30 BBs in this. So this will shoot up to 30 times before you have to reload it again. There's no safety on it. It has a uh, rear sight that is both, both adjustable for windage and elevation. Has a little beaded front sight on it. And this barrel is a solid steel barrel and it's a pretty good barrel. This gun is, is uh, fairly accurate. We're going to be shooting it at 25 feet. And this little part right here, when you cock it, this is the BB feed and it pops out a little bit, loads a BB, pops back in and it's ready to shoot. Okay, so I'm going to load this up and it's, uh, it's snowy outside and it's cold. Uh, the temperature in the room we're going to be shooting in is about 67 degrees. We're going to be shooting from uh, 25 feet offhand. So anyway, let's go shoot this little gun. So I'm going to show you how you, this is charged, okay, and to charge this, okay, it's charged, okay, it's charged now. Sometimes you have to do that more than once. And as you can see right here, where the BBs are held, okay. So, okay, let's shoot this now. We're going to shoot from, like I said, uh, 25 feet offhand.
What a fun little gun to shoot. And it's pretty accurate. It has some power. This one shoots a little right around, I think, four, about 537 feet per second is what I tested it at. Uh, it, it doesn't drop off until about maybe, maybe about the 40th shot. You usually get about 60 shots out of it. Show it to you again real close. It's a well-made little BB repeater. Okay, so let's take a look at the target. Now, I noticed that uh, I need to adjust the sight a little bit over, but you can see that nice little group right there. And, you know, that's a, that's a pretty tight little group for a BB gun. This gun's a lot of fun to shoot. I can see, man, every kid back in the 60s, if they had a Red Watt Rider, this had to be the gun that they dreamed of. So that's it for the uh, Crossman 166 Han Super BB Repeater. Uh, sweet little gun. Uh, it's very well made. It has actually a very nice, very nice looking wood stock on it. I'll show you both sides. It has a little bit of power. Like I said, it was uh, shooting at about 537 right in there. I'm sure that back in the day, that this little rifle took a lot of sparrows, uh, probably took some squirrels, and who knows, maybe if you got a lucky shot when you was a little kid, you'd get yourself a rabbit too. Not at any distance, but at close range. Uh, they don't make they don't make guns like this anymore. A lot of them are so plasticky and everything. The little BB guns. I always enjoy making these videos for all of you. And I hope you enjoy uh, watching them and bring you a little bit of uh, air gun history from the past. So until next time, I hope that you all have a good, a good day and we will talk to you soon. I'll show this gun to you one more time. Until next time, everybody, good shooting.